Uh, hi, Raul, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, as, I've, as I've said, I've already completed. Uh, it, this was a week ago, uh, but I, I reviewed the um, uh, that I have not received any feedback to the situation analysis that I have actually made. So, and uh, we're just a few hours away. So what uh, needs to be done? I think uh, there will be, there's some area of, of improvements that needs to be done what I have completed, but uh, since I've not received any feedback, so I'll be doing my own uh, uh, modifications based on the uh, other requirements, right? Okay, so Raul, I'm putting up the calendar, the timeline for the exercise uh, on the screen. If you see uh, from the 4th to the 8th of April was give feedback to three colleagues situation analysis, and then uh, from uh, next week, that's the 11th to the 15th of April, will be revise your situation analysis based on peer feedback and submit your final uh, uh, version. So just to let you know that today is the deadline for peer review. So peer review is still ongoing. So it's difficult, it's impossible for you to have access to the comments that peers left to the feedback that you received for your work. But that is, you are going to have that as from tomorrow, that is what is going to happen next. So tomorrow, as from uh, Saturday morning, you'll be able to view the feedback you receive from your colleagues. And you are going to use that feedback, but not only that feedback, but also you're going to also use what you learned by reviewing the works of others to improve upon your situation analysis. And uh, that is what you'll be doing next week to submit by Friday, April 15th. I hope that answers your question. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know that I have a few hours left, but as I said, uh, the assumption would be if there's none. But the good thing about, no, you, you know... The... You are going to... you The few hours is for the peer review. You already completed and submitted your peer reviews, right? Yeah, I did. What I'm okay, saying... So, so by tomorrow morning, you'll be able to see the comments that peers, the feedback that you got for your own situation analysis. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Charlotte, is there Charlotte? This is Joyce. Is there a chance to change the situational analysis at this point? Or it's no, you can only change the situation analysis next week during revision. Oh. Okay, thank you. Okay. I see uh, uh, Boy Chuarello Masunda says only did one this morning because just recovering from illness. Uh, sorry to hear that uh, you were sick, uh, uh, Masunda, and glad to know you're feeling be much better. So you, I hope that you'll be able to complete the two others uh, before the deadline this evening. I also see Magaji uh, Gaba Adamu. Uh, you said you sent only one. There's only, there was only one situation analysis to send. So Magaji, over to you. Hello, uh, good evening, Charlotte. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. You know, uh, I uh, I only send, like I said, one situation analysis about our CDVP outbreak in Kano in Nigeria. So I don't know what to do next after sending it because my daughter has been hospitalized. I'm not able to attend what I'm supposed to do. Okay, we are Hello? sorry to hear about your daughter, Magaji. I hope she's Thank doing you. much better. Yeah, she has been elected, uh, she, she had an elected CS yesterday. Okay, so she's still in the hospital. She's still in the hospital. But I, see, I, I have already sent one situation analysis, but I didn't get any feedback about it. No, you were supposed to submit. After submitting, let me put the timeline again. After submitting your situation analysis last week, this week was supposed to be peer review. And that's, you received mails from us with all the instructions on what to do, even on Telegram. All the instructions are there on your personal space on learning the foundation. All the instructions are there. So the next step was supposed to be peer review. So um, I'm just going to mute you because there's some background noise. And uh, what I can do is uh, to access your page on peer grade to see exactly where you are in terms of the tasks. So 
And uh, if you can see the screen, I put up the question. Okay, so my gaiji. Okay, so uh, Magaji, I hope you're able to see my screen. I'm going to share, uh, if you're able to see my screen, you'll see that I've gone to your page on, on, on peer grade, that's Magaji Gaba Adamu. And Magaji, what you need to do, I'm gonna put uh, the link to log into peer grade in the chat, and I'll be inviting you to click on that link. Once you click on that link, uh, you, you, you log into uh, uh, to peer grade so that you can, start peer review, if it's possible for you to do so uh, now, you can actually take uh, use this opportunity that we have here. And this also for every other person uh, that is still doing a uh, peer review, uh, please click on the link that I just shared in the chat so that you can actually take advantage of the time that we have, of the time uh, uh, that we have right now for you to continue to work on, uh, on, uh, your, um, on the peer reviews. So um, uh, uh, Magaji, if you click on the link, if you log into peer grade, you're going to see, or another possibility for you is to, if you go to your email, you're going to see mails from us. You even see a mail from peer grade, reminding you that the due date for peer review is almost at hand with a direct link that if you click on the link in your email, you're, it's going to bring you directly to the first uh, submission, to the first uh, 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 situation analysis that you have to peer review. And this is it I'm showing on the screen right here. The first situation analysis that you have to peer review is health workers in my situation hesitate to take COVID-19 vaccines resulting in low COVID-19 vaccine uptake. So, uh, and that is submission one. You, the instructions on, for peer review are on the, are on the uh, right hand side of your screen on peer grade. Meanwhile, the work you're supposed to peer review is on the left hand side. If you're having connectivity issues, download you can click on this download button to download the work that you will peer review and uh, once you download it you can put the document side by side and then while you take the time to read the instructions clearly read the instructions clearly uh, 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 for the peer review and then you give a, 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 um, a grade you grade the work you grade the section is by is uh, concerns every part you know, every part from part one up to part six. So you give a grading and you explain your grade. There's a comment section. Once you click on the grading, a comment section is going to open where you type, where you explain why you gave that person that grade, how the person can improve upon their work. So you do that uh, uh, steadily. Uh, you do that steadily section by part by part, part by part, part by part, until you reach part six. This part six at the end, once you reach part six, you click on submit feedback. Once you sub click on submit feedback, that is when the other two, submission two will open. So submission two will not open until you submit feedback for submission one. And once you have submitted feedback for submission one, submission two opens, you submit feedback for submission two, submission three will open. So you need to complete all these three peer reviews uh, 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 by midnight, today that is geneva time so if you're in nigeria uh, midnight in geneva will be around 11 p.m uh, in a, a west africa uh, central and west african time so uh, magaji i don't know if uh, with this step-by-step uh, -step explanation you now have a better understanding of what you're supposed to do i'm inviting you to unmute <laughs> So Magaji, my question is, uh, have you been able to follow this step-by-step -step guidance? Yeah, I, will, uh, I, I grab what I can grab, and then I will follow the link that you sent. I saw the link now. Then I will click it and follow it. OK, because I've showed the steps. I'm actually in your page on peer grade. And uh, since you asked the question, you didn't know what to do. That is why I took the time. But there is also a tutorial that Red has prepared. So if at some point you are having any doubts, you can even go to your personal dashboard on learning the foundation. All the instructions are there, but okay. there is a also that Red has prepared. If you're having any questions or any doubt, after thank you very much. You so can thank you have very a, much. Okay. Yeah, but 
Thank yeah, you. so thank you. Um, thank you, thank you. I will try. I will try. But I'm it, very it is very thank if you. you click on the link that I shared, or you go to your mailbox and look for a mail from Pierre Gray. There is a okay. blue link in the mail. You click there, okay. it will take you directly to this page. But if you okay. follow the link that I shared in the chat, you have to yeah. pass through this page to and you click on give feedback. When you click on give feedback, you come, you read carefully the, the, the situation analysis of the peer, and then you give your feedback by choosing a grading. Ah, sorry, I'm okay. sharing, I'm sharing, I'm actually sharing the wrong screen. I'm sharing the the, the, the French <laughs> slide deck. Okay, let me put up the English. So okay. I you give feedback, it brings you to this page. So you okay. read the okay. best work carefully, and then okay. you grade it, you choose a rating, and you explain your rating and give concrete specific of, uh, suggestions that will allow the peer to improve upon their work. And then you okay. scroll down to uh, evaluate each of the sections, to review each of the sections of okay. uh, the peer's work. And at the bottom, you're going to see submit feedback. As I said okay. earlier, if you don't submit feedback for, uh, uh, for uh, the first uh, situation analysis, the second one will not be open for you on peer grade. So you have okay. to submit the first one so that the second one will open. And once you submit the second one, the third one will open for you on peer okay. grade. Is that okay? okay. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will do that. It's my pleasure. All right. I will do that. Uh, okay. Okay. I wish you all the best, and uh, I wish your thank daughter a quick, a quick recovery. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful, Charlie. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, any other questions? Any other concerns? There is a okay. Magaji, your hand is okay. Go ahead and unmute. If you have any other question, yes, please go ahead. Okay, it was surely an accidental raised hand. And uh, thank you, Yaku. Magaji, go ahead and unmute yourself. You don't even need to raise your hand anymore. Yes, please, we are listening to you. Magaji, your mic is unmuted. Okay, thank you, Yakub, for your kind words in the chat. So, Boy Shuarello Masunda, concerning your question, until you finish peer review, you will not be able to access the comments that the peers left for you. But those comments will be made available only after midnight today. So, as from tomorrow morning, as from tomorrow Saturday, you should be able to access the comments for your situation analysis on peer grade. And you're going to receive guidance on how to do that. So you're going to receive guidance on how to do that on your personal space on learning Earth foundation. But just to reassure you that by tomorrow, you should be able to view the comments, to access the comments made on your own situation analysis. But the condition is if you do not complete your own uh, 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 peer review, you don't complete peer review, you will not be able to submit the final version of your situation analysis. So it is a, a, prerequ a, a prerequisite for you to finalize, to revise and finalize your situation analysis. You need to complete peer review first. All right, uh, any other questions? If not, maybe uh, we still have about 15 minutes. Can we listen to one experience sharing maybe you talk about one uh colleague's work that you peer reviewed uh joyce joyce are you able to share maybe one peer review uh with us if you're not able to share your screen i can share for you uh share share my screen for me please all right all right i'm going to let me just open up here great for you and then uh, uh, which submission will you want to? Um, I think the third one. Let okay. The third one, yeah.
Okay, so uh, just access uh, situation analysis uh, review. Okay, there you go. Submission three. Let's wait for the preview to let the pre preview load. All right. So um, barriers militating against COVID nineteen vaccines and routine immunization in my district. Okay. Um... Let me see, where do I need to go to get mine out? Because this is quite small for me. Okay, you're not able to uh, see. So you can actually, if you, you if you have your computer, are you able to, are you, access, are you accessing the meeting via your computer? Uh, yes, uh, send me a link to peer grade and then I can go in there. Okay, let me share this link with you in the chat. Okay. And I, and I can, uh... okay, I just sent you the link. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, you can see this or I need to share. Okay, let me stop sharing my screen so that you can share yours. Are you, have you been able to open it? Yes. You can I'm share your screen. Open it. Okay, so you can go ahead and share your screen. So let me see. Let me close some of the ones that I had opened here so that I'm able to, to share just what I need to. Okay, so while you're, you're doing that, I want to answer quickly uh, the question that uh, Mary Van de Puye asked in the chat, say, if I have finished three peer reviews, what happens to me? If my situation analysis is not peer reviewed by a peer. So just to reassure you, Mary, your situation analysis will surely be peer reviewed by at least one peer. Now, uh, the reason why you are asked to peer review three, the, 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 the works of three peers is because while you are doing the peer review and helping them to improve upon their work, I am sure you have been learning something from that, from their own situation analysis that will help you to improve upon your work. And also when you're doing peer review, you're also getting more acquainted and more familiar with the, with the, with the, with the rubric. And that familiarity with the rubric also helps you to highlight the places that you may have missed in your own situation analysis. So you're already benefiting from the collective intelligence of three people. Now your work is given to three other people to peer review and to give you useful constructive feedback. But the point is some of our peers because of circumstances beyond their control may not be able to finish uh, uh, to, to, to peer review your work. And so you may receive one out of two, three or two out of three peer reviews. So if you receive one, you'll be now counting on the collective intelligence of four peers to help you improve your work or three. So that is it. So, but one thing I know, that is why we keep encouraging uh, everyone to, uh, to do peer review because we depend on each other to succeed in this process. All right, uh, thank you very much. And over to you, uh, Joyce. Uh, can you see my screen now? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, I thought this was a good uh, a good situational analysis. Uh, barriers, I believe, um, the person wanted to write mitigating against COVID nineteen vaccines and routine immunization in the district. Uh, and uh, as much as the district is not put down there, they have put down uh, where they wanted to do it. It's in Nigeria, Katsina State. Um, the challenge is that there are barriers mitigating against COVID-19 vaccines and routine immunization at the district. 
and uh, they have identified the strategic priority three, uh, which, is, which is appropriate. Uh, the question is what are the main barriers that are mitigating the COVID-19 and routine vaccination and why? Uh, and I think that question is also appropriate and related to the topic. Now, when um, in general, I realize that this, this is a good, uh, or the person has put a lot of effort to come up with a situation analysis. Uh, when I looked at the cover note, um, it was as requested in bullet form. And um, the person is able to express their, their issue to, 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 to their leaders or supervisors to create the, what, what they want to do. They, they want to, uh, to create a guidance and counseling in each of the primary healthcare um, services for mobilizing people about COVID-19 and routine immunization. They would like to involve the traditional leaders in the vaccination campaign and find out what the barriers are uh, and also make efforts to add community mobilizers in order to mitigate for the barriers. Uh, that, that, that is a good uh, guidance for the leaders on the direction that this person wants to take. And that is why uh, I said the summary was good. Um, it was excellent. The author has identified the topic key area. The questions are in um, congruence with the with the with the topic, and the author is very precise. Uh, he has made it or she has made it known to the supervisor what needs to be done. Uh, the situation. Um, uh, the situation is uh, described. And I said, uh, important challenge and question identified only require minor improvements. And this is um, because the, 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 the author, when writing about the situation analysis, uh, the, the, the situation was focusing on, uh, on the whole country, but I thought they should uh, confine all uh, translate the information from the whole country to the state so that we know they are talking about the situation in Katsina state. Uh, but it is well written, uh, written and uh, addresses the issue. They have been able to, 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 to put two important uh, public interventions and um, that, that can help mitigate the, the situation. And they have also identified the, the barrier, which is fear and confusion. But I wanted to find out whether what is happening uh, in the country, in Nigeria, is also happening in Katsina, or are there other localized issues that are happening in the local place where she, want, uh, where she or he wants to to, to, to uh, where the situation analysis is focused. Um, and uh, the other good thing about the situation is that um, they have quantified uh, what is going on. Uh, they have said lack of confidence and trust in routine immunization has, um, has affected, is effective health intervention appears to be relatively common in parts of Nigeria. Uh, some research studies found that 9.2% of respondents um, uh, envisioned no faith in immunization, envisioned no faith in immunization. What I want to say is that um, they, have, they have brought in some quantitative information that uh, qualifies what they are talking about, which is a good thing. Uh, but I thought that may need uh, more improvement. And that's why I gave the grade of three. Important challenge and question identified only require minor, uh, minor adjustments. 
the data sources um i felt i felt that um the data sources are appropriate uh, but uh, the author can also add their personal experience and because the the author i believe is working on the ground can bring out more information from the beneficiaries or people in the community and i also thought um, they can they can probably have focus groups and other in key informant information that can be added to the data sources because the more the 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 data sources reflects what's happening on the ground uh, the better or the better way to mitigate the the issues regarding the situation the key findings based on uh, on the findings for the skills strategy of barriers um, Uh, well, the, the 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 issues that had been identified before, the fear, the misinformation, the confusion, uh, has been found to 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 be the main barrier into the uptake of COVID vaccines. So uh, what what um, I see in this area is that the daughter, the the key findings are in relation to the data sources and also to the question that the person wants to address and the topic of the of the situation analysis so i thought that the 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 author has done a good job in explaining the key findings as far as the results are concerned uh, the next steps that's an area that i thought maybe there was a little bit of confusion um, because the next steps, I said that the next steps, I believe the document is work in progress, um, but uh, advising NGOs and the agencies is very important. The other needs to add how this is going to happen. Uh, how many of these stakeholders the other will target um identify what each stakeholder is going to to focus on uh, which area and also identify the geographical area Ma map out um what is going to happen and where it's going to happen and by whom uh, the uh, the ideas engine that was uh, done uh, properly and it was also appropriate over to you charlotte i think that's all i had for this author okay thank you very much uh, joyce uh, and uh uh you have listened to this peer review uh, that uh, joyce uh, made for uh, the work of this peer from katsina state in nigeria what are your comments what are your thoughts you know um are there any uh, um uh, 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 areas of uh, improvement. Now, uh, Joyce, uh, you know, you can go ahead and unmute yourself if you want to speak or you type your thoughts, your comments in the chat. Uh, Joyce, can you move up uh, to uh, uh, the top of, um, yeah, to the, the, the cover note? Okay. Yeah, and thanks, yeah, thanks, right yeah, yeah, the cover, thanks really for the, for the review. Um, so yeah, it's a good thing I see, um, the, the the cover notes when i look at the cover notes and i look at the and i, and I look at the the next steps i maybe i didn't have time to read everything the person wrote but i thought in the next step he started by advising ngos and here he's saying uh, what the, the author wrote down is it looks like it's not identical to what they wrote the, in the next step but before even getting to that they, they, uh, i also noticed you know they say the cover note is uh, 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 um, is uh, you know what are the key points your supervisor and leadership team need to know to best support your uh, 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 to best support you take actions to tackle your challenge. So while it is good to tell the supervisor 
that this is what needs to be done. It is good to situate, to situate the supervisor in the context. What is the situation like? What is the problem? What challenge am I facing? What have I discovered? I discovered this, this, this. So it's, it's really, the cover note really has to carry in a few lines or bullet points, as you say, but it has to carry first and foremost, the challenge, the situation, the finding, and then now the action that you're proposing. So that, because just looking at this, involving traditional rulers in vaccination campaign, those are actions, proposals that he's giving. But the question is, why are these proposals need, uh, necessary? And looking at the cover note, it's difficult to understand why anybody, why will your supervisor give you the go ahead to carry out or to tackle the steps? Why would they have to do this? So it's, it, it, it could be good to, to invite the author to maybe explain to to really to 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 to, to uh, uh, follow the steps in 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 the rubric to explain further so that because the cover notice remember it was said if the supervisor look reads the cover note they may not have time to go through the whole situation analysis just the cover note should give them a clear picture of the situation of what you're proposing should be done and everything so that way uh, 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 so if the cover note is not able to communicate that then there is a problem. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's, any, I'm not seeing any other comments, if there are no other comments, but it was really, I, I know this session is a technical support session, but I, and since we had uh, no people, we had been able to help those who are technical issues and we had a little bit more time. So let's take advantage and do some experience sharing. That way, those who are still doing peer review, they can actually, uh, they can actually uh, uh, see how it's being done, see, see the necessity of actually going through uh, the, 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 the situation analysis that the colleague has prepared and then taking time to give feedback that will help them to improve upon their work. So um, basically, uh, that is why we, we have done this. And if there are no comments, if there are no concerns, I think we can end here for today. Uh, I just really want to thank um, Joyce uh, for volunteering to, to, to share her experience and also to encourage Magaji, to encourage uh, 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 Magaji that still has to work on uh, his situation, uh, his peer review to encourage Masunda that is also working, that, that was not feeling fine. I hope you are doing well now, but that is also working on the peer reviews to continue and do so. Remembering, keeping in mind, uh, Joyce, let me just uh, go back to my own script, keeping in mind uh, that, um, uh, uh, that the deadline is actually 11.59 p.m. That is in less than 10 hours time. You, we are supposed to have submitted all three peer reviews on peer grade. Most of those who are in the room have actually finished the peer review, so congratulations to you. But if you're having any challenge uh, after this, do not hesitate to ask for help on, on the Telegram channel, the IA2030 Movement Dialogue channel on Telegram. And uh, I am sure there are peers that will be willing to give you the support that you need. If not, we also have uh, tutorials, videos that can help you, step-by-step -step guidance that can help you to complete the peer review. And uh, look forward to seeing you. We have uh, the General Assembly on Monday. And remember, as from tomorrow, you'll be able to see the comments, the feedback that you've received from peers. You'll be able to see that tomorrow on peer grade, you'll receive tutorial and guidance on how to, 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 to receive the feedback and then to react to that feedback and also what is expected of you when you are revising you're revising um uh, your uh, your situation analysis to submit the final version and the deadline to submit the final version is for friday 15th of april and only those who would have submitted three peer reviews will be invited to submit the final version of their creator project and earn the certificate of completion so that's very important to know that so I hope you are all keeping your eyes on your mail. You remember there is the summons, uh, uh, there's a summons for you on um, for the General Assembly on uh, on Monday for our assembly on Monday, where we'll see what is what is uh, uh, what we have to do during week four of uh, the situation analysis um, uh, exercise, and also what will happen after week four exactly talking about our global event on the 2nd of May. You'll get more details about that and also on the next exercise for this full learning cycle. Once again, I want to thank you all for 
uh, joining uh, today's uh, technical support session. And remember our motto, you do not suffer in silence. If you need help, we are there to support you. But do not give up now. You have come too far to give up. Continue with the peer review. Finish it because your peers are depending on you, just like you are depending on them. And remember, failing, uh, uh, if you fail to peer review, you are indirectly trying to fail your peers because their success depends on you. They need your reviews. They need your comments to improve upon their situation analysis, to revise it, and to submit the final version. So that said, thank you, everyone. Wish you um, a nice day and uh, more courage to those who are still working on peer reviews and uh, an excellent weekend to everyone. Okay, thank you to Joyce. Thanks everyone. And uh, as always, we end by asking everyone, giving everyone the possibility to unmute and just uh, to hear your buys. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, Charlotte. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charlotte. Bye.